but I talk for like two hours, basically continuously, and I have no idea like where all these words come from or what I'm doing. But whatever. Zero damage. That's awfully threatening, isn't it? I get all of the chicks. They're like, oh my god, he can talk for two hours. He gets all the ladies. I'm pretty sure that's not how that works, but that's how it's going to work in my brain. I am a let's player. The ladies love that. You can deal with it, or something along those lines. I have, like, famous celebrities contacting me and stuff all the time. Give my phone number out to people. I don't, actually. If you wanted my phone number, you can't have it. Bat, bat, go away. Come again. Never again. Hey, that actually rhymed. Well, it was the same word, so it's again and again, obviously rhymed, but whatever. Those bones are noisy, man. Put some grease on them or something. What would you... Would grease work for bones? Bone grease? Bone oil? Would that be better? Like, oil up your bones so they're not so creaky? I don't know. There's that chest. May as well get it. It spawns like every other time I come into the stupid mines. It always has gill in it. Whatever. And my controller continues to very slowly die, by the way. I don't know if you've noticed that. There's like one point on the joystick where it's not like... It doesn't register as being pushed all the way forward, so I just walk for whatever reason. My right bump, my right bumper is terrible. Like, doesn't work most of the time. I have an old controller, but whatever. And we're back to this majestic bridge. Yay! Which I'm pretty sure all of these skeletons. I wonder. I don't know. You'll note no more spawn. It's because you can only have, I think, uh, eight things actually visible at a time. So nothing else will spawn. That's why, for some rare monsters or for some hunts, you're actually supposed to kill the. Uh, surrounding enemies and then re-enter the area to try and get it to spawn. Because of that limitation, just so you know. So it's... I'm pretty sure it's, uh, five enemies plus your three party, and then it won't spawn anything else. Could be a mistake. There could be also instances where that's broken. That rule is broken, but for the most part, that's usually how it works. Is that chest back again? No. PS2's amazing power. PS2 admittedly had probably some of the... Well, there he is. That was hard to find. Let's kill the stupid skeleton. How you doing, skeleton? Okay. Let's fix Vaughn's weapon. That. There we go. The, uh... The flan, I'm pretty sure, is one of the, uh, one of the instances where that's actually not true, because the flan have a split ability. It doesn't actually spawn very many flan at the same time. In fact, usually it spawns three. Would you leave me alone? Jesus. And then they'll use split, which is one of the instances where that's actually not true. We are dishing some serious damage. As you see, if you were to come into this, say, at the level you got it, so... What, level 12 or something? It would be way harder in France if they're soloing a skeleton. Good job for you. Especially once he goes into critical like this and his defense ramps up to like plus 50% or something like that. But he's really easy now. Because we are really over leveled at this point. For that hunt, anyway. Highest level enemy in the game, by the way, I believe is level 70 or something around there. There's probably some rare enemy that's higher than that, but that's the enemy I know about. Now we need to get back out of the mine because we have nothing to do in here. Because we cannot get to the second half of this mine, still. I don't remember when we unlocked that, but... I don't think we can handle it anyway. I think the enemy's there at level 30 or so. Well, that we could handle that. Yeah, we can. We can hang, let go of the R2, but whatever. Which is RT on the 360 controller. Right trigger. R2, right trigger. I like the 360 controller better than the PlayStation controllers. I just like where the, the joysticks are. For the most part. They feel a bit more natural, if you will. That skeleton runs really funny. And Bone Toss still hurts. And there was that point where I was walking when I was pushing the stick all the way. Doesn't happen often, but it does happen. But I just like where the, the sticks are. Um, plus it has actual triggers. I'm pretty sure the PS3 controller has triggers now. But the PS2 one didn't. It just had actual buttons for R2 and L2. 
which made it a bit hard because like things like Gran Turismo where triggers are actually really helpful you basically just had to, to hit X. X was usually the go button in racing games at that point. So. You just had to like tap on X to try and mimic a, uh, a trigger button. Just tap it really rapidly or something like that. But anyway. Yeah, the, pla the PlayStation sticks are too close to each other. I don't like how they're in the middle like that. It's a little weird. It would be, for games like this, it would be good for the, the 360 controller's right stick to actually be where the face button is, but obviously you can't do that for every game, because a lot of games just use the face buttons a lot of the time. And by face buttons, I mean A, X, B, Y, just like that. Which you'll note, actually, is like ye olden uh, Nintendo controller, A, X, B, Y. I'm not sure why they did that. I guess they just followed up behind Nintendo with that. The N64 controller back in the day was fantastic, but if you go back to it now, it's like... After using dual sticks for so long, it's weird. You can do it, sure, but it's, it's just weird. Plus the way you ho the way they designed it with the, uh, the three little hand prongs, or whatever you want to call them. The three little things that you can hold on to. It's weird looking. Weird controller. Consoles were weird back in the day. I do miss my N64. I sold it quite a while ago, actually. I miss the old thing. And I actually... I really hate cartridges, but it's it's silly. Like, you, you blow into them and stuff. It's weird. Now I'm just reminiscing about N64s. Anyway. Back over yonder to talk to the crazy lady that's over here somewhere. We haven't actually gone this way, by the way. There's nothing really over here. There's no point to go over there. But just saying, there's another part of the town that I haven't actually been to yet. There's my controller breaking like a boss. Not sure why I walked the long way around. I didn't realize that. Didn't realize which way I was going. You weren't supposed to blow into him, I don't think, but it actually did help them. For whatever reason. Like, getting the dust out of it, I guess. So it would actually work. All of my games were like crazy old and they all kind of sat out in the open, so that probably didn't help the situation any. So every t every time, like Martin said, every time I started the thing, I would blow into it. Or if sometimes I actually. You are hard to select, good sir. That thunder. Hmm. Scary thunder. Sometimes I actually had to kind of wiggle the uh, the cartridge in the N64 to try and get it to, to work properly and stuff. I actually broke one of my favorite games back in the day. I was kind of being stupid. I got tripped up on the uh, controller cord, and uh, the three the N oh, was the three, N64 fell off the count the uh, well I guess counter I guess. Oh look at the little rock toys. Oh it's so cute. Oh that's tiny. Holy crap. It makes a really loud stompy sound. But the N64 fell off dresser, that's what it is. Fell off the dresser, and uh, we had a Game Shark, and that was my filing cabinet. We had a Game Shark and Rush. Uh, one of the Rush games, I can't remember. It was. Uh, Rush something or another. One of the later Rush games that was more like an actual racing game instead of the arcade styled Rush. Um, and that completely broke the Rush cartridge. The, uh, Game Shark was still good though, thankfully. So we could cheat hacks our way through everything else. Which was good times. I do remember with Perfect Dark, you could actually use the Game Shark to, to change things about the game. Like instead of firing bullets, you could fire cars, which was hilariously amazing. That you could do something like that with an N64 game and a Game Shark. You should go check it out, because it's totally possible and it's amazing. Me and my brother did it all the time. We changed it at some point so you were actually firing levels out of a gun. It was just weird. Anyway, that's not the right way. We want to go to the bar and see if there's any more hunts. I don't know how much longer I can keep up doing hunts, but whatever. They kind of get repetitive, to be honest. More so the actual gaining the hunts than actually doing them. The hunts themselves are all unique. So, Oh my god. We have a lot of hunts, as it turns out. The White Moose. It's a flan, apparently. In Rabinaster. Monster is made of an item of great importance to me. 
And it's apparently a Moogle, because they said Koopa at the end there. Sure, I'll go speak to the petitioner. I know where the petitioner is. Good god, man. Good god. I don't know why it forces you to do that. Another worm. In Rabinester. It's in the Wester Sand. Interesting, sure. There is a worm in... I think it is actually the Western Sand. I don't believe that's the same worm. But there... I think it's called the Earth Tyrant or something like that in the Western Sand that you have to actually defeat at some point. Well, you don't have to. But you can defeat at some point, which I will. This, yeah, this dude's in Rabinaster. Everyone's in Rabinaster, apparently. He wants to send him an exceptional serpent wire. Serp... Serpent wing? Serpent twine? Serpent twine. And I get to slay the exceptional serpent. Sure. I know where he is. It said it right there. Good god. Anyway. My god, there's a lot of these. We also have, by the way, if you didn't notice, our first two rank 5 hunts. Which is surprising considering we've only done like 3 rank 2, but whatever. Uh, Burramasis. That's quite a while away. What's up, Demon Wolf? How are you? And everyone else who happened to show up while I wasn't paying attention? I'm getting things. Petitions from petitioners. There's only really two places he could have possibly been. A Vorpal Bunny. An evil bunny, that sounds terrible. And the Irvid Village. For one who feels a proper kinship with the wood, do I wait? I really like how the, um... Now I can't even remember what they're called. Dirt. I really like how they speak. The bunny people. What is their name? Why am I failing so horribly at remembering their name? A mutant slavin. He's got crystals growing out of his brain. That sounds like fun. And the Nalbina Fortress. We'll get that when we go through there anyway, since that is our destination. Our first destination anyway. Not the Moogles, the, the bunny people. The Moogles are the... I don't really know how you... I guess they are bunny people, too. The really tall bunny people that are all made of females that wear scantily clothing. Scantily. Scantily clothing? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Me? Vera, that's what they're called. Thank you. You wear scantily clothing. Derp her derp derp. By the way, I was, uh... Whoa! I was actually thinking about that, um... Uh, Star Trek Online video I did, and I think I'm going to actually change that into... Leave me Moogle alone. Um, apparently God Given's having some weather troubles there. I was thinking about changing that to, uh, I'm gonna call it Let's MMO, if you have no idea what that would entail. I don't, like, slap yourself in the face or something. Um, I would just do a few videos, like two or three videos of a bunch of different MMOs that people recommend or something like that. Um, that would probably be far better than just doing the two or three videos of SDO that I was doing, or contemplating on doing. I already had one up, and then I had one recorded and screwed that up, but whatever. Anyway, we may as well, um, you know what, actually, where should we go? Not that. Stop opening that, you idiot. Nope. How do I... world map. Now I gotta go through this for the world map. I'm just derping it up here, aren't I? Congratulations, me. Anyway, world map. Here's the world map. Obviously, Bajurba is all by itself because it's a floating piece of rock, or a bunch of floating rocks. Here's everywhere we've been. We've actually been through half of the world, basically, at this point. Um, we have this northern area here, which I don't remember how many spots are in this half of the world. I can't remember if there's a bunch. And I think a little bit down here in the southern side is actually left. Not much, though, if anything, but there you go. Uh, our destination is Arcades. I'm actually going to go ahead and... I'll probably cut it here. If I don't, I'm a derp. But I'll probably cut it here, have that other one as a hunt video, and we'll go ahead to Nalbina Fortress, which I'm actually going to fly there. Because I can't teleport there yet, so... Which we might have to be in Rabinaster to do. So, well, fly to Rabinaster. And I'm going to do the private cabin, because I have no interest whatsoever in faffing about... Although, I probably should get that at some point, but... You can finish the... Flight quest I started earlier. I don't 
the flight attendant quest that I started earlier. Hello, docent, docent. East Evilist Company proudly offers passage. Yes, yes, yes. You can finish that after gaining access to, or finishing, I should say, the Draclor Laboratory. And there's me burping, burping, burping. We should be able to fly to Nalbana from here. Uh, Bujerba, you Nalbana? Yes, fly to Nalbana, please. We have ships fitted with shops. I do not care. I just want to fly to Nalbana. Dexter's Laboratory. That was a good show back in the day. Watched that a lot. Dexter's Lab, Tom and Jerry, and something else I watched like a bajillion -y bajillion episodes of. Can't quite remember. I also watched a lot of uh, Tsunami back on Cartoon Network, which apparently they've restarted. There's a lot of Imperials here. There's this weird thing going on over here. What is this? Why does this door look so funny? Yes, I'll escort you. Okay, sure. Go along. Totally forgot this place was locked down by the Imperials. Oh. It's not like it really matters. It still acts like a town. It's just you can't... It's like they just cut off most of the fortress because they didn't want you wandering around it or something. But welcome to Nalbana Fortress. And this is probably the coolest looking intro to an area for quite a while, actually. Good old Nalbana Fortress. Good old airship dropping down a tiny little itty bitty pallet. Tsunami, not Tsunami. Why did I say Tsunami? Idiot. Uh, Toonami is what I watched a lot of. Mainly for Dragon Ball Z. I freaking say this. Mainly for Dragon Ball Z, because I watched like every episode of that. The first couple seasons, I guess, of Dragon Ball Z, I watched basically every episode of. I haven't watched any of the new stuff, so. New with air quotes, if you know what I'm talking about. If you know what I mean. Anyway, welcome to the walkable area of Nalbana. We don't have a map, so I can't really. Oh, we do actually. Here it is. Not a whole lot to it. Leads to the Ester Sand and the Mosferin Waste. The Mosferin Waste is actually the direction we would have to go, I'm pretty sure. The GT, uh, stuff like that. Uh, armors. I don't have any gill, but sure. What do you have, buddy? This is the point where you start unlocking some pretty hefty armor, I'm pretty sure. Uh, diamond Shield, that's actually pretty good. So you can see here, Black Cow, Black Garb. These are huge improvements over stuff. Um, Demon Mail, stuff like this. This is the point where you start unlocking some really good loot. Or really good store items, I guess. Not really loot. Uh, don't want you. There's a weapon shop over here. We may as well check out. What is he doing? Good job, Jovi. I'm quite proud of you there, buddy. Jovi seems familiar. Snort, squeal, sniff. My hero, he's gone. Bahu I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be. So Jovi's having some emotional issues with his hero there. Hello. Yes, I would care for a weapon or two with your inflated nonsensical prices for stuff. Any new stuff? Yes! Lots of new stuff, actually. There's the second level of Ninja Sword, which I can't afford, which I probably will not buy. Paramina crossbow, good crossbow. There's a katana. We end up buying this katana here. Giant stone bow is the next step in bows, I'm pretty sure, which she can't actually use, which is hugely surprising to me. That she can't use that, because, I mean, she's had bow six since, like, the start of the game or something like that. Do we have any new swords, actually, that I can afford? Crossbow, healing rod, no, 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 no. Storm Spear is a pretty good spear, by the way. Sadly, it has a lightning element, which is, again, don't really like elementals. There's the Demon's Bane, by the way. This is the one you would have gotten for uh, actually getting it in that chest after the Demon Wall. So there's the sword you would get. Cool looking sword. It's got a little intertwined pieces of metal thing going on there. That'll be the next sword we get, since so there's apparently nothing else here is worth a crap. Golden Staff is good. Do I have anything to sell, actually? Maybe I can buy that katana. Do -do -do. We have a bunch of crap to sell. Holy Jesus. Oops. Large feathers. Soul powder is worth a lot. Holy crap. People bathe in that stuff, and it's worth that much gill? You people are 
insane. Absolutely insane. Anything here I don't need? Nope. Elixirs, you'll notice, is actually 777 gil. I don't know why they made it like that. That's probably a reference to something, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Golden amulet's worth a lot, but I'm not selling that. You can be pretty darn sure about that. I'll sell all this crappy armor I'm never, ever going to use. Who's it, bro? Don't need. Soldier cap is on someone, for whatever reason. Uh, it's on him, apparently. So everything up here, I guess we'll keep for now. And we got new bizarre goods. We got Traveler's garb, robe and cap. We got my wizard robe and cap, apparently. And let's go ahead and let's see. It's a demon's bane now. There it is. Go ahead and buy the demon's bane and equip it. And buy that katana that's down here, wherever it is. Uh, that one. Can't use it for a while, but. I am going to use katanas, regardless of how much I keep saying that. In fact, can we even get to katanas soon here? We should be able to relatively soon. It's probably be... Oh lordy lordy lordy. What would be the most efficient way? Probably this way. Would be one of the most efficient ways to get there. Because you want to use the as cheap as possible way to get there. Um, let me check Fran here. Right there. So, um, where the heck, there he is. This way would still probably be cheaper, wouldn't it? Yeah. Straight down we go. And we can't quite get it, curses. Oh well. At least we're right there, we should have it soon. We'll need another set there. And I'll actually put the double LP on him so we can get his weapon soon. Let's see, Spellbound, yes please. Everyone likes Spellbound. Swiftness, yes please. Once I finally finish off getting all the Swiftness, all the Magical, or all that stuff, she can't, still can't afford that. Um, actually, I may do that now. May as well... Where's the cheapest Gambit slots at? Let's grab a bunch of Gambit slots, shall we? And by a bunch, I mean a bunch. Quite literally. Not Shield Block, no. Not Shield Block. Headsman, just realized that. Let's grab that. Extra MP after doing anything is basically mandatory. Don't even joke yourself. Kid yourself. Don't even make jokes about yourself. It is serious business. I was contemplating getting her some black magic, but I changed my mind there. And let's get her some... She has heavy armor 6. She has 5. Yes, please. We are actually getting to the end of the heavy armor line, which I'm pretty sure the armor and weapon lines stop at uh, 10, I think. Shield lines don't stop at 10. I think they stop at like 7 or something like that, but whatever. Let's get her some, some more sword levels. Even though it's going to be quite a while before we can even use these. There's the blood sword, which I'm pretty sure drains hit points. It's a unique sword, which we apparently haven't found yet. Anything up here I can afford? Probably not. For Libra. You know what? That's not good, Libra. No interest in getting Libra. Look at Pinello's license board. That is the best license board you can possibly have right there. Look at it. At least she knows Cure. She can heal. It's about all she can do. I'd say, like, spend an hour going through their freaking license boards. Good lord. Let's continue, shall we? All of the magic and technique and gambit shops are out here in this little long pathway, which I probably should have saved my money for the magic. Because you start getting some pretty sweet magic. Hello, gambit guy. Apparently it's hot over there, where this guy lives. Or where this guy works, I should say. Nalbana! It's hot in Nalbana. Apparently I can't quick scroll. I guess I just hold it down like this and it'll quick scroll. Anything new? Faux statuses? Faux character? MP? Nope, nothing new. I didn't buy the gold amulet because I didn't forget to. I haven't done any guild grinding. I have the gold amulet, though. Uh, I'm at leave. Okay, apparently he can't talk about his stuff in public, sure. And good and fuse. Changing one ally's HP to ten times that amount? That's quite a bit. I know double M LP, man, but double LP doesn't matter if you can't use the weapons and stuff you can unlock. 
which for the most part is basically everything, because I haven't been doing any guild grinding, which I really should do. Maybe I should make this video guild grinding, or grinding in general. I would like your magic, good sir. Come on, come on, magic straight from the lost city of Nabudis, which is where you get the Zodiac Spear. Let's see. Bye, Kiraga. Probably should get that soon. Also need to get these level 2 spells here. Lots of stuff I need to buy. Toxify, don't care. Vanish, death, vanish, guy, don't care. Vanish, guy is how I pronounce it. There's probably some technical way about that. Let's see. Anyway, onward. I guess we're gonna do some exploratory grinding. How excited are you for that? I'm pretty excited. I'm quite thrilled, in fact. 